In today's video I show you how to make your own custom disk planner or notebook. I'm Staline Honey and welcome to this video. For this project I'm using the VR Memory Keepers Planner Punch Board with the punches which fit to my Me and My Big Ideas Happy Planner Discs. Of course, I also need copy printer paper, a ruler and a pencil. To make things easier, I use a cutter board and the VR Memory Keeper's Tub Punch board, but both are optional. You can also do that by hand using a scissor. For the cover to be more stable, I'm using cheap cardstock. To protect it against water, I'm using cheap self-attensive foil. Both I got from some kind of dollar store. If you want to do a planner dupe, we'll need to prepare the planner punch board before we start. Therefore, you need one page of your original Me and My Big Ideas Happy Planner. You need to mark one hole of it on the border of your punch board using a waterproof pen. This will help you later to arrange everything correctly for punching. Now I start creating the normal pages using the thinner copy printer paper. For that I set the markings according to the measurements which you can find in the description box. Since my cutter board can cut three sheets at once, I only mark every third sheet. Then I cut them together to save some time. After that I need to punch the cut sheets. In the description box you'll find the numbers which I've chosen for my punches. Make sure to insert the paper fully and correctly and only punch one sheet at once for a nice punch. As you can see I need to punch them two times. The second time make sure that the last already punched hole is correctly aligned with your marked hole on the border. This way you make sure your alignment is correct. I do that with all my pages. Now I start creating the dividers. For the dividers I use a bit thicker copy printer paper and the measurements are different but can be found in the description box. After cutting the paper, I'm punching the tabs according to the manual of the tub punch board. I'm now punching three pages with tabs to give you an idea of how it looks like at the end. Having that done, all I need is to create the cover sheets. I take my foil, pull off the protection layer and lay it on my desk. Now the tricky part comes and if anybody has a better way to do that, please let me know in the comments. I'm now taking the cardstock and try to align it correctly onto the foil. If you use structured cardstock as I do, make sure to stick the non-structured side onto the foil. If it's not perfectly aligned, it's not a drama because we have to cut it to correct measurements anyway. Now I need to set the marks according to the correct measurements and cut it. The measurements can be found in the description box. Think on which side is better to cut away because the foil was not aligned perfectly. Before I go on, I need to mark the center of the vertical side as preparation for punching. Just as a hint, because I'm lazy and don't get the center 100% correct, I mark it for one cover on the inside and for one on the outside so at the end it fits perfectly. For punching the first part of the cover, I remove the last two punches. Then I align the marked center with the hole marked at the border of the punch board. 
For the other side I need to insert an additional punch and then do the same again from the other side. To make it look a bit more professional I use the corner rounder of the top punch board and round all corners. It also helps the foil to not get off that easily from the cardstock. Because I use cardstock and foil for the covers, I always have the problem that I cannot move the cover easily in the discs. To improve that I just make the cutting of the punch hole a little bit bigger using a scissor. But only a little bit, as you can see here. Finally we have the cover sheets, the dividers and the pages and just need to put them together. Here you see how it can look like at the end. What can be really useful is a ruler. Maybe you have one from an old planner or you have a really thin ruler which you can punch or you have a thicker foil which you can punch and use as a custom ruler. What is also useful is a pen holder. You can either buy them or make it yourself using a foam rubber, a needle, a yarn and double sided tape. I think you don't need a tutorial for that. And now I show you how a customized planner can look like. In my case I printed some of my drawings, cut them out and stick them on my divider pages to have a Zelda themed planner. If you wanna see more inspiring art videos, please make sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. I hope this was helpful and you had a good time with me. Thanks for watching and we'll see in the next video. Bye!